Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Labor. As part of our Farm Safety Podcast series, we're talking about the importance of grain safety. And I'm joined here with Ron Hayes of the Fight Project. Tell us a little bit about that program and why it's a good partnership with Farm Safety. We started it after our son was killed in 1993 to help the families who workplace fatalities all over the United States. We focus on grain and grain safety because that's how Pat was killed. He was suffocated in a grain bin. 60 ton of corn fell on him. And uh, it took me about a year and a half to find out how long he died because everybody said, well, he died quick. Well, I kept saying, well, how quick's quick? Because as a parent, you're thinking about your child. You're saying you don't want them to suffer, you know. So it took me about a year and a half and I found out it takes 90 seconds for a six foot two inch man to die in a grain bin. So 90 seconds to suffocate in under this corn or soybeans or uh, concrete, uh, anything in a silo or, a or bin. So that's why we started the Fight Project to help educate. Because I think that's how we fix the problem is we educate folks. Why is uh, the project or Endeavor Farm Safety um, a good, seems to be a good fit for the fight project and why you're here today? Well, just because I believe in education and training and hands-on and that's why this is so good because you've got all these examples and the kids can see it. You can sit there and tell somebody all day long, but if they can't visualize it or picture how it works, they can't understand it. But here they walk up and you're showing them the grain flow, you're showing them how to pull somebody up out of a bin, and they get it. You know, it clicks immediately. What is the leading cause to a grain um, bin related injury? Well, it's just basically the suffocation and the collapse of the grain. You got to know the structure of the grain. And people just see uh, soybeans, they dry differently than corn does. Sawdust, people wouldn't think that sawdust. Concrete in these silos, you see, it collapses. And what happens is it's the moisture, you know, so it's the chemical reaction. So a farmer doesn't only have to be manually, he has to be mentally astute at these processes. And most of the old timers know about it, but the young folks coming up, that's why this is so good with the kids. Showing these kids what can happen. You know, and then they ask their dad, they'll say, tell me this, tell me about this, you know, and dad gets shocked because the kid just asked a question, you know, but then they'll talk about it. So maybe by talking about it, everybody learns and everybody's on the right page. So tell us about, what is this right here? This simulates trying to pull a person out of grain bean, and it shows you you need 400 pounds of force to do that. So an average man of about 165 pounds, it says right here on the front, if he's halfway buried, it's gonna take 235 pounds of pressure to pull him up. Once they get past their shoulders and head, you're not gonna pull them up, you know, unless you've got a crane overhead to pull them out. And then by that time, they're gonna be dead. Well, thank you, Ron, for joining us this week and sharing your story with us. If you all have any other questions, comments, or concerns, you can visit www.labor.mo.gov. And thank you to our partners in safety.